photosynthesis is directly related to the life and survival of all living creatures on earth virtually all energy on earth comes from sunlight it not only supplies oxygen without which breathing and being alive would be difficult but it also supplies food and energy to all हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आज की क्लास विच थोड़ा स्वागत है जो कि फोटोसिंथेसिस प्रोसेस दे बारे विच है हर लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म नो एनर्जी दी लोड हुंदी है फोटोसिंथेसाइजिंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स सूरज तो एनर्जी प्राप्त कर दे हन उदाहरण ले ट्रीज ग्रास रोजेस अते वीड्स प्लांट्स अते होर फोटोसिंथेसाइजिंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स नो प्रोड्यूसर्स वजो जानिया जांदा है क्योंकि इना विच सूरज दी रोशनी विच अपना भोजन बनाउन दी एबिलिटी हुंदी है एक्सेप्ट प्लांट्स नो अदर लिविंग क्रिएचर ऑन प्लैनेट अर्थ कैन प्रोड्यूस देयर ओन फूड दस ऑल डिपेंड ऑन प्लांट्स और अदर क्रिएचर्स व्हिच फीड ऑन प्लांट्स टू सरवाइव देयरफॉर बाय प्रोड्यूसिंग एनर्जी द प्लांट्स सप्लाई all the necessary nutrients and energy directly or indirectly to the other living creatures the production of this energy is possible through photosynthesis photosynthesis relies on sunlight in fact life on earth relies on sunlight directly or indirectly photosynthesis is basically the trapping of light energy and converting it into chemical energy this process of photosynthesis is a complex series of chemical reactions that begin with carbon dioxide and water and ends with carbohydrates such as glucose and starch so the process of photosynthesis is extremely important for our existence but before knowing the importance of photosynthesis and its impact on our life and earth we first need to know what photosynthesis is so let us see what is photosynthesis photosynthesis is performed by the plants to produce their own food the process of photosynthesis requires direct sunlight carbon dioxide and water but it is a complex process and involves series of reactions let us have a look at how this process happens photosynthesis is the process by which plants use the energy from sunlight in the presence of chlorophyll carbon dioxide and water to synthesize organic food plants are the only photosynthetic organisms to have leaves a leaf may be viewed as a solar collector the raw materials of photosynthesis are water and carbon dioxide water enters the root and is transported up to the leaves through vascular plant tissue systems as you know photosynthesis occurs mainly within the leaves since photosynthesis requires carbon dioxide water and sunlight all of these substances must be obtained by or transported to the leaves carbon dioxide is obtained through tiny pores in plant leaves called stomata which is flanked by two guard cells as shown here in the visual likewise oxygen produced during photosynthesis can only pass out of the leaf through the open stomata unfortunately for the plant while these gases are moving between the inside and outside of the leaf a great deal water is also lost the raw materials of photosynthesis water and carbon dioxide 
enter the cells of the leaf and the products of photosynthesis, sugar and oxygen, leave the leaf. In simple words, it involves the conversion of stored energy of the sunlight, water and carbon dioxide into glucose, which is an organic compound, and release oxygen in the process. The simplified equation used to represent this overall process is shown here in the visual. 6 CO2 plus 12 H2O in the presence of light energy and chlorophyll gives C6 H12O6 plus 6 H2O plus 6 O2. The simplest way to understand what photosynthesis is would be to know that it refers to the process of producing and releasing oxygen in the air. Photosynthesis can be defined as the process in which green plants utilize the energy of sunlight to manufacture carbohydrates from carbon dioxide and water in the presence of chlorophyll. अपने आज के टॉपिक विच असी फोटोसिंथेसिस दे कई महत्वपूर्ण पक्खा ते ध्यान देवांगे जिस नाल इस इंपॉर्टेंट प्रोसेस दे बारे विच थुआडी नॉलेज भी वधेगी पर सब तो पहला टॉपिक दे लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव्स जान लिए अपॉन कंप्लीशन ऑफ दिस टॉपिक लर्नर्स विल बी एबल टू डिफाइन फोटोसिंथेसिस एक्सप्लेन द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ फोटोसिंथेसिस Outline photosynthetic pigments in plants. Describe site of photosynthesis. Discuss about the raw materials necessary for photosynthesis. Importance of photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is arguably the most important biological process on earth. By liberating oxygen, and consuming carbon dioxide, it has transformed the world into the hospitable environment we know today. Directly or indirectly, photosynthesis fills all of our food requirements. All green plants make their own food by photosynthesis. As we already discussed, for photosynthesis to occur, they need sunlight energy. This energy is absorbed by a green pigment called chlorophyll, which is mainly found in the leaves. This energy then combines with water molecules and carbon dioxide. Then, as a result of this, a type of sugar is produced. This is called as glucose. Oxygen is also made. In photosynthesis, many chemical reactions occur in order to construct the storage units for glucose and fuel synthesis. These reactions provide the backbone on which all ecosystems and food webs are based upon. This is a very important thing. क्योंकि सिर्फ यही इकला ही अजेहा बायोलॉजिकल प्रोसेस है जिस नाल एटमॉस्फेयर विच ऑक्सीजन आउंदी है अते जो धरती ते जीवन दा आधार है फोटोसिंथेसिस प्रोसेस बारे जानन तो बाद हुन असी पिगमेंट्स बारे स्टडी करांगे जो कि फूड प्रिपरेशन दे प्रोसेस विच बहुत क्रिटिकल रोल निभाउंदे हन सो लेट अस स्टडी द फोटोसिंथेटिक पिगमेंट Photosynthetic Pigments A pigment is any substance that absorbs light. These can be defined as the organic molecules that absorb light of specific wavelengths in the visible region due to presence of conjugated double bonds in their structures. The color of the pigment comes from the wavelengths of light reflected. 
the plant pigments are responsible for the capture of light during the light reactions of photosynthesis. There are different types of photosynthetic pigments present in plants. These are chlorophylls, xanthophylls, carotenes. Let us check these one by one. Chlorophylls. These are the green photosynthetic pigments present in all photosynthetic autotrophic organisms except bacteria. It is found in the chloroplasts of green plants and is what makes green plants green. Chlorophyll is vital for photosynthesis which allows plants to obtain energy from light. Chlorophyll A and chlorophyll B are the two common photosynthetic pigments. Chlorophyll A is the green pigment common to all photosynthetic cells. It is the main photosynthetic pigment in all organisms except bacteria. It is a bluish green pigment. It is the major pigment involved in trapping light energy and converting it into electrical and chemical energy. It acts as a reaction center. Chlorophyll A absorbs sunlight well at a wavelength of about 400 to 450 nanometer and at 650 to 700 nanometer. Chlorophyll B constitutes about one-fourth of the total chlorophyll content. It is olive green in color. Chlorophyll B absorbs a different wavelength of light than that absorbed by chlorophyll A. On absorbing light, it becomes excited and transfers energy to chlorophyll A molecule. Chlorophyll B absorbs well at a wavelength of about 450 to 500 nanometer and at 600 to 650 nanometer. Chlorophyll molecule looks like a tadpole with porphyrin head and phytol tail. Chlorophyll A has methyl group that is CH3 whereas in chlorophyll B aldehyde that is CHO group on ring 2 of porphyrin head is present as you can see here. Besides these, there is another group of pigments called as carotenoids. The carotenoids are red, orange or yellow pigments. In the green leaf, their color is masked by the chlorophylls, which are more abundant. Carotenoids like chlorophyll are embedded in the thylakoid membrane of the chloroplasts. They are accessory pigments and harvest light from different regions of the spectrum. The light captured by these pigments are channeled to the reaction center where light energy is converted into electrical energy. Xanthophylls are yellow-brown in color. These absorb light well at 400 to 530 nanometer. Students, halaki chlorophyll light nu trap karan wala major responsible pigment hai, par hor thylakoid pigments jive chlorophyll B, xanthophylls, ate carotenoids, jina nu accessory pigments keha janda hai, we light absorb karde han, ate energy nu chlorophyll A which transfer karde han. Hun tak asi una photosynthetic pigments bare gal ki ti, jo ki photosynthesis da integral part han. Hun vela hai una site bare gal karanda, jithe asal which a sara process hunda hai. Aao photosynthesis di sites bare study kariye. Site of photosynthesis Photosynthesis occurs only in the green parts of the plant. Leaves are the photosynthetic organs in plants and chloroplasts are more localized in the leaves. 
So, chloroplast is the organelle where photosynthesis occurs. In a leaf, chloroplasts are present below the upper epidermis in a tissue called palisade. The organelle is surrounded by a double membrane. Inside the inner membrane is a complex mix of enzymes and water. This is called stroma. It contains all the enzymes needed for photosynthesis and thus is important as the site of the dark reactions. Embedded in the stroma is a complex network of stacked sacs. Each stack is called a granum and each of the flattened sac which make up the granum is called a thylakoid. Thylakoids are membranous disc-like structures that are stacked together in larger structures that resemble stacks of coins. Chlorophyll and carotenoid pigments are located in the membranes of the thylakoids. Each thylakoid has a series of photosystems, that is, photosystem 1 and photosystem 2 and associated proteins. All these associated structures in the thylakoid membrane are the site for the light reactions in which light energy is converted to chemical energy needed for the Calvin cycle in the dark reaction. Students, the structural organization of the chloroplast is very important for its ability to function. Chloroplasts are very important for living organisms because if there were no chloroplasts, plants would not produce oxygen, sugars and starches which other animals use and eat. Photosynthesis, they though important components, photosynthetic pigments at the photosynthesis site bare study karan to baad, hun asi third component pav photosynthesis lay zaruri raw material bare jankari hasil karange. Aao hun photosynthesis lay required raw material bare study kariye. Raw material for photosynthesis. Carbon dioxide and water are the raw materials that the plant needs from the environment for the synthesis of carbohydrates. Carbon dioxide, CO2, is one of the gases in the air. Its total concentration in the atmosphere is 0.03%. Animals and human beings exhale carbon dioxide. Water from soil enters the plant through roots as shown in the visual. It is then transported through stem and finally to the leaves where it is distributed to the cells of mesophyll tissue. You can also see here carbon dioxide from atmosphere enters leaf by diffusion through an opening known as stomata. The stomatal apparatus has small opening flanked by two guard cells and epidermal cells. As you know that a typical leaf includes upper and lower epidermis, the vascular bundles and stomata. Water is transported through xylem from where it reaches the photosynthetic cells. The carbon dioxide which enters leaf by diffusion through stomata also reaches the photosynthetic cells as shown in the visual. Once the raw materials move into the chloroplasts, they undergo a complex series of chemical reactions. One of the products of the reactions is oxygen. Oxygen is released into the air. The other product is sugar, that is glucose, which is used as food for the plant. So students, carbon dioxide and water are the raw materials that the plant needs from the environment for photosynthesis. 
carbon dioxide is released in the atmosphere by respiration, decay, combustion and decomposition. Plants use carbon dioxide during photosynthesis as raw material during the daytime and oxygen is released as end product. But during night, plant utilizes stored starch and carbon dioxide. When the intensity of light is low, the amount of carbon dioxide released during respiration equals to its consumption during photosynthesis. This state is known as compensation point. Asi kehe sakde haan ki dharti tel life nu regulate karan vich photosynthesis bada vital role play karda hai. Asi har sa de naal photosynthesis di importance nu realize kar sakde haan. Ho sakda hai ki hun tusi jado bhi sa lavo udho hi apne barande vich lage paudya nu vekho. Pani, sunlight ate plants milke सानू एनर्जी मुहैया करवाउंदे हन अते ऑक्सीजन देके साडी सा लेन दी जरूरत पूरी करदे हन फोटोसिंथेसिस दे बिना लाइफ इंपॉसिबल है सो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज इनफ फॉर टुडे लेट अस समराइज व्हाट वी हैव लर्न सो फार फोटोसिंथेसिस इज कंसीडर्ड एज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट प्रोसेस इन द बायोस्फीयर Photosynthesis also plays a crucial role in environment as the level of carbon dioxide in the environment largely depends on the process of photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is performed by the plants to produce their own food. The process of photosynthesis requires direct sunlight, carbon dioxide and water. But it is a complex process and involves series of reactions in photosynthesis many chemical reactions occur in order to construct the storage units for glucose and fuel synthesis photosynthesis occurs only in the green parts of the plant leaves are the photosynthetic organs in plants and chloroplast is a more localized unit in the leaves Photosynthesis can be defined as the process by which green plants utilize the energy of sunlight to manufacture carbohydrates from carbon dioxide and water in the presence of chlorophyll. Chloroplast is the organelle where photosynthesis occurs. In leaf, chloroplast are present below the upper epidermis in a tissue called palisade the organelle is surrounded by a double membrane inside the inner membrane is a complex mix of enzymes and water this is called stroma it contains all the enzymes needed for photosynthesis and thus is important as a site for the dark reaction the simplified equation used to represent photosynthesis is carbon dioxide and water combines in the presence of chlorophyll and sunlight to produce carbohydrates water and oxygen photosynthetic pigments are the organic molecules that absorb light of specific wavelengths in the visible region due to presence of conjugated double bonds in their structures there are different types of photosynthetic pigments present in plants these are chlorophylls xanthophylls and carotenes chlorophyll a and chlorophyll b are the two common photosynthetic pigments Chlorophyll A is the green pigment common to all photosynthetic cells. It is the main photosynthetic pigment in all organisms except bacteria. It is a bluish green pigment. Chlorophyll B constitutes about 1/4 of the total chlorophyll content. It is olive green in color. Chlorophyll B 
absorbs a different wavelength of light than that is absorbed by chlorophyll A. Chlorophyll molecule looks like a tadpole with porphyrin head and phytol tail. Chlorophyll A has a methyl group that is CH3 whereas in chlorophyll B aldehyde that is CHO group on ring 2 of the porphyrin head. The carotenoids are red, orange or yellow pigments. Carotenoids like chlorophyll are embedded in the thylakoid membrane of the chloroplasts. Xanthophylls are yellow brown in color. These absorb light well at 400 to 530 nanometer. Carbon dioxide and water are the raw materials that the plant needs from the environment for the synthesis of carbohydrates. So students, this is enough for today. Let us go through a round of questions and answers to check your understanding of the topic. Be attentive, here are some questions. The first question is, define photosynthesis. The answer is, the process by which green plants utilize the energy of sunlight to manufacture carbohydrates from carbon dioxide and water in the presence of chlorophyll. The next question is, give the chemical equation for photosynthesis. And the answer is, carbon dioxide and water combines in the presence of chlorophyll and sunlight to produce carbohydrates, water and oxygen. The simplified equation used to represent the process of photosynthesis is shown here. The next question is, name the part of cell where photosynthesis takes place. The answer is, photosynthesis takes place in the chloroplasts of the palisade cells of the leaves. My next question is, what are photosynthetic pigments? Answer, photosynthetic pigments are the organic molecules that absorb light of specific wavelengths in the visible region due to presence of conjugated double bonds in their structures. The next question is, name the cell organelle which contain the green pigment chlorophyll. The answer is, chloroplast contains the green pigment chlorophyll. The next question is, name different types of photosynthetic pigments present in plants. And the answer is, there are different types of photosynthetic pigments present in plants. These are chlorophylls, xanthophylls and carotenes. The next question is, which is the main photosynthetic pigment present in all organisms except bacteria? The answer is, chlorophyll A is the green pigment common to all photosynthetic cells. It is a bluish green pigment. It acts as a reaction center. Chlorophyll A absorbs light well at a wavelength of about 400 to 450 nanometer and at 650 to 700 nanometer. My next question is, what are carotenoids? Answer, carotenoids are red, orange or yellow pigments. Carotenoids like chlorophyll are embedded in the thylakoid membrane of the chloroplasts. They are accessory pigments and harvest light from different regions of the spectrum. The next question is, what are accessory pigments? Answer, the pigments like chlorophyll B, xanthophylls and carotenoids are called accessory pigments which also absorb light and transfer the energy to chlorophyll A. My next question is, 
Name the raw material essential for photosynthesis. The answer is carbon dioxide and water are the raw materials essential for photosynthesis. The next question is name the end product of photosynthesis. The answer is oxygen and glucose are the end product of photosynthesis. Next question. What are xanthophils? The answer is xanthophils are a photosynthetic pigments which are yellow brown in color. These absorb light of wavelength at 400 to 530 nanometer. My next question is what is compensation point? The answer is when the intensity of light is low the amount of carbon dioxide released during respiration equals to its consumption during photosynthesis. This state is known as compensation point. Menu umid hai ki photosynthesis naal related sare concepts to anu clear ho gaye honge. Dhyan den lei tuhada bahut bahut dhanwad. Agli class vich fir milange. Goodbye.